Hi my lovelies, so today I have someone special with me. Um, as you guys have been listening or watching my videos, you know that I've started this new journey, 100 Days Without Fear, and the person who inspired all of this is Michelle over here, Michelle Fuller. Her channel is 100 Days Without Fear, so definitely check it out. Um, so yeah, I want you guys to meet her, I want you to hear more about the journey and how you can get involved. Alright, so Michelle, yes. my first question for you is why did you start this 100 days journey of facing your fears? Um, I started this journey for a couple of reasons. First one, it was a project at my school, so I had no option. I had to do <laughs> 100 days of something, whatever I want to do. And I decided to face fear because I'm 27, I'm living in New York, and I'm definitely, I wasn't um, enjoying every day to the fullest or actually taking advantage of this city like I should have. Yeah, yeah, I know. I agree, I agree. Like, one of the things that, you know, Michelle was kind of saying is coming outside of your comfort zone. It's so easy, I think, even though we live in New York City, it's so easy to stay in your bubble, stay in your comfort zone because it's safer that way. But, um, yeah, stepping outside of comfort zones and really taking that risk. Um, that's where you find the adventure. I think that's where you also discover a bit more of yourself. So I think that's so cool. What is your most memorable experience? Memorable. Yeah, the most memorable, hardest, the easiest, and then your most favorite one. It's really, really hard to come up with one memorable. Like, <laughs> I did a hundred, and most of them were pretty memorable. But the one that stood out the most, or that moment I felt I was living life to the fullest, was when I did the video of dance like no one's watching and helped me record it and he said sure let's meet at Times Square and I'm like <laughs> Times Square are you sure I never thought about Times Square I thought about like the street in my house like and he's like no 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 yeah, let's go where the crowds are yep I'll see you in Times Square and it was um, Memorial Weekend 9 p.m. on a Sunday it was packed so I just went there, I put on my earphones, so I was the only one listening to the music. Yeah. No one else. Silent disco by yourself. Yep. <laughs> no one else was listening to anything and I started dancing and I said to myself, imagine you're in front of your mirror in your living room, no one's watching. And I just went with it. I don't know oh how I did it, but like after the first 30 seconds, I started to feel I was the star in my own video music, like, <laughs> it was That's great. And I was like, oh, this feels so good. That's great. I was dancing like crazy and then not, not even thinking that nobody else is listening to my music, but then people started to join. Yeah. So I had dancers from all kinds of... Without the music, they just started dancing yes, with you. Yes, they were not listening to anything, they just joined me. So the hardest one that I've done is when I jumped off the cliff. Um, I think that was a week or two weeks ago. Oh yeah, I saw that when you were a bit nervous. How did you feel? A bit know? nervous. There it was, um, 25 feet high, and oh my God. never in my life I've done something similar to that. I feel like in the video, that was one of the few videos I saw you even more reluctant to, to go for it. Yeah, I was. it was a whole line, and then the guy was like, it's your turn, go. And I'm like, uh, I looked down and I'm like, I can't, I can't. I, I said like, someone else go, I can't do it right now. So someone else went and then again and again and again I kept looking and the guy was like, Miss, you'll have to leave because mm -hmm. if you don't jump, you have to leave. And I'm like, <gasps> my husband was starting to get like pissed because <laughs> he was like, all the way. <laughs> we did all this just for you to face your fear, you're facing your fear. So there you go. And I couldn't and you know what helped me? I don't know why I decided to start counting. My, my fingers were not doing the right counting, but my mind was. I, if you see the video, I'm like, one, two, three, like. Yeah. But I did like three, two, one, jump, and that really helped. If, wow. Without that, I could not have done it. So how has this journey, since you started this journey, how has it changed your life? First, it changed my whole career. I started this journey, and I started to do every video, and the, tell the story and I created the emoji meter and everything because I wanted to have this as a portfolio piece to show once I graduate from my master and mm -hmm. to get a job. From yeah. I'm like, oh, this shows that I can tell stories through video and through a blog, so this should help to get a job. And then as soon as I graduate, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't get a job? <laughs> and this journey um, showed me the power that we have when we share our stories and we share how we face our fears, we have power to inspire other people. 
-hmm. and this has been the greatest thing I've gotten from doing this project so far and I want to keep doing it so I decided not to apply for any job and I don't know try to be an entrepreneur it made me a more open person Mm -hmm. I used to say no thanks to every single new experience I was offered Mm -hmm. I was just not open to trying new things yeah. And now, after I try like 99, like I don't know how many new things, I'm definitely more open to say yes to everything. I try to <laughs> like force myself to before say no, say yes, and then mm-hmm. I can make a decision if I like it or if I don't. don't like it. Yeah. What can we expect for your 100th beer? If you can give us some inside scoops. Okay, so for my 100th beer, I wanted to do something emotional. I discovered that there are two kinds of fear, physical fears and emotional fears. And my audience really resonate with the emotional ones. And even though sometimes they take physical energy, like for example, dancing in the middle of times where it takes physical energy, actually it takes more emotional energy mm. because you you have to put yourself in this mood and you have to not think about embarrassment, rejection, and like this shameful position that you're putting yourself into yeah. that takes more than just dancing right yeah that's so nice. I've seen that my audience really resonates with this emotional part of it and I really really wanted my last fear to have some sort of emotion and m- what I really care about my last fear is to inspire as many people as possible so sadly I can't tell you what it is because okay. I'm not allowed yet <laughs> okay but you'll find out before it comes it will be Very cool. um, around mid October so mm-hmm. I have around one month so we can look to it, look forward to it in October yes okay so now that it's getting close to facing your 100 fear and that's gonna come up in October like you said what can we expect for it after the 100th fear is done So, as I was telling you before, um, I'm working right now really hard on finding out what's the best way to involve all of you because I want all of you to be part of this journey and I already did my 100 fears. Mm -hmm. So, I don't want this to be about me anymore. I want this to be about other people that feel encouraged Mm -hmm. to do the same thing, face their fears and it doesn't have to be 100 because my goal for this is to get people to start living life to the fullest. Yeah. No matter how many fears you face, the idea is that you step outside of your comfort zone and start facing fears daily. Mm-hmm. If you can, that would be yeah. awesome. So I know that some people already started doing it. Like me. <laughs> like her and other people oh, that yes. started. But I want them to feel part of something. So yeah. I'm right now working on a platform that hopefully will be ready soon for everybody to join and start sharing their experiences because there's a lot of power when you share yeah, your own definitely. experience. So to be like a community platform that everybody can get get together and, and engage, that's really cool. I think that's yeah. that's something that's going to be really awesome, especially because it's going to be concentrated and people can connect mm-hmm. um, and be able to do that together. Yes. Yeah. Besides that, I'm working on a book and actually the book is what led me into this because I was like, I can give you my tools and my expertise through my book, but I want you to, I want to give you the platform to do it. So the space where you can all connect and share your own experiences to inspire other people. So what's your advice for me, for us, for those of us who want to take on and join in the challenge of 100 days without fears? Okay. So first, I'd say commit to yourself because this is one thing that you're doing only for you, like no one else um, will actually make this happen if you don't do it. So definitely make that pledge to yourself and write your list because to me it really helps to keep everything in writing. If I keep it in my head, I will forget or I will ignore it. I know, I, I put everything on my Google Keep. (laughs) <laughs> Good, yes, so write your list. So there is one thing that I learned that I want to share with you. The fear is never, ever, ever as bad as the way we put it in our heads. Believe me, like after doing 90 something, they're never, ever, I, I cannot say one fear that has been worse than I had it in my mind. No. For all of the nosy bodies out there, including myself, tell us something unique or random about yourself. Oh my god, this is the most. I, unique and random thing about myself 
my ring size is two. Wow, you have really small fingers. <laughs> That's it. It's tiny. Tiny. Wow. Yeah, like they don't have my size anywhere, so <laughs> I could only have rings is if I um, make them like like if custom I have made. them custom made. Michelle, thank you so much for you know coming and and hanging out with us and sharing the whole journey. If you guys are interested in checking out the journey, joining yourself, go ahead and check out our channel. Follow her on Instagram and Twitter. I'll list all of her information below in the description box so you can check that out and get that yes. info. I, I feel so honored to be able to be like, hey, I know Michelle. We've gotten to share a fair together. Like we did the shark video together, guys. She was very brave. <laughs> yes. I was so scared. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited for what your channel has to offer, your, your future, your book, your website, and I'm completely supportive of you. And I just want to thank you for taking that first step to face your own fear and then inspiring a movement that's definitely like affected my life and I think is going to affect it further down the line and many others. I think anybody that's watching this video can also attest to that. Uh, thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Well, guys, remember to subscribe and remember that you're absolutely beautiful. Until next time. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs>